21 Faces is a campaign by the Down Syndrome Centre that aims to celebrate the uniqueness and diversity of children with Down Syndrome. Now in its third year, the campaign follows 21 children between the ages of 2 and 11 and aims to encourage people to see the personalities, see the people, not just the syndrome. Joining us this morning is one of the young children who's featured in the campaign. That's Liam Cazairo alongside his mum. Maeve, good morning to you both. Good morning. And is Liam watching himself on the television there? Is he, Liam? Yeah. It's very early in Liam's morning. Let, let him wake up gently. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's very early in everybody's morning. Liam is five years of age, am I right? Yeah, five years of age and has two siblings. A brother and a sister? Yeah. What are yeah. their names? What are their names? What's your brother's name? Oh, we're whispering. Doesn't know, I think. Senan? Senan, we heard that. Yeah. And a little sister as well. What's your sister's name? Fia. 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 who's only a little baby, isn't she? And he is no, camp no stranger, Liam's no stranger to this campaign. No. This campaign is following children across a long period of time to see how the children are progressing. So people probably would have seen Liam's picture two years ago and last year and now this year as well. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, this campaign, it's called the 21 Faces campaign and it, um, this is its third year um, and it follows 21 children, as you said, um, and it personalises um, each child. Each child gets to tell their story, mm -hmm. um, their likes, their dislikes. The whole idea of the campaign oh. is it aims to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> now it's great fun when you can see what you're doing back. <laughs> um, it aims to celebrate people with Down syndrome, to celebrate their uniqueness, their diversity, and, and why did you as a family want to get involved? Why did you want to get Liam involved? Um, I am just so super proud of Liam. I want to get him out there. Um, so that people, there's, to just to challenge people's misconceptions, to look past the Down syndrome, to take mm. a second look, to get to know Liam as a child, what he's able for, his personality. <laughs> his. Of which he has lots, <laughs> clearly. Absolutely. Maeve, what are the, the misconceptions? So... It can be very easy to see that a, a person or a child has Down syndrome, but everyone with Down syndrome isn't the same. Mm -hmm. um, every, everybody is different, just like all typical people are different too. Did you have misconceptions? Um, Before and after Liam? Do you know what? It's very hard for me to think of what I thought before I had Liam, yeah. because now I only think one way. Yeah. Um, just. He is a fantastic boy with so much potential, mm. just like all children with Down syndrome are. They just have so much potential, so much to give. Once they're given the right opportunities and the right support, supports to be able to, to be the value, have a valuable role in society. What, what were the, the, the misconceptions that you encountered as a parent? Um, so... It, at the moment in, in our life, Liam's go, uh, hopefully going to school in September. Big school. Big school, yeah, mainstream school. Um, and that was one thing right now when I was talking about schools, a lot of people would, would have said to me, oh, so he's going to a special school or he's going to a special class within a, a mainstream school. Mm -hmm. um, where there's absolutely no need, he's just as well able as any other five-year-old or four-year-old starting school. It may take him a just little bit longer. To finish Montessori. He's just finished Montessori, yeah. And yet. that went really well. Year Montessori, it was incredible. And did you find it difficult to find a place for Liam in a Montessori? Um, I mean, was everybody as open to taking Liam into the Montessori or their crash as you as a mother would have wanted them to be? I consider myself exceptionally lucky. Um, the crash that Liam is in, his cousins went to. Um, and they, um, they welcome Kids with special needs, um, it's a, a place in Drumcondra Child Vision. So there's a lot of children with spe special needs in the mm -hmm. Montessori. It's very inclusive. Mm -hmm. um, they have given them so much support. Um, they, Liam, so Liam didn't speak, he didn't say his first words probably until he was about three. And he didn't start really talking until he was about four. So Liam communicated with love and still does use love. It's a sign language, mm -hmm. ad adapted sign language for, mm -hmm. for people with intellectual disabilities. So Liam communicated through love and the um, Montessori took this on. They used love within the class. They taught the whole class love because it's no, it's no good just Liam using it mm -hmm. if he can't com communicate with his peers. So lots of the kids in the, in the class learned. And is Liam learned looking forward to going to big school? 
Has he got his uniform yet or his new school bag? Yeah. You have a Toy yeah. Story school bag, don't you? Toy Story. Woody? Oh, Liam's very lucky. Oh, only Woody, one yeah. of the best. Yeah. And when Liam was born, Maeve, Liam was your first child. Liam was my first child, yeah. Uh, and you've gone on to have two more children. Yeah. Were you yourself concerned when Liam was born? Were you worried about his future? Absolutely. Did you think there was going to be lots of obstacles and challenges? Absolutely. Worrying about things that there is no need to worry about. Um, like yeah, if what? I could... Will he be able to drive a car? Like, who worries about that when they have a newborn? That's something that shouldn't shouldn't enter your head. Will he be able to talk? Will he be able to walk? Will he have any friends? Will he be treated Will... fairly and equally? Absolutely, absolutely. Will people be able to see him the way I see him? Will people mm. see his ability? Will people see what he's able for? Um, oh yeah, absolutely. So many worries, yeah. huge. And the older he gets, um, it. For me, the brighter his future seems. This campaign has just brought so much awareness to people. Um, and the photos, that you, I'm not sure if you've seen them, they're in Dunn stores, have them in loads of their branches. Um, the big exhibition in Cornell Court going Scourt, on all it's day. It's huge, yeah. yeah, it's a really, it's so well done. Um, we went out and visited there yesterday. That was where the, um, the campaign was launched um, two weeks ago. And the, the exhibition is continuing on for another week if anyone wants to get out and see it. Um, and it's, you it really blows you away when you look at it. It's not just, the, it's big giant posters of 21 children with Down syndrome, but they're not just cute mm. pictures. These, all of these kids have a really valuable role to play in society. Um, it's quite overwhelming. Uh, but in saying that, were you as a family offered sort of the support and the services that you needed when Liam was born and over the last five years to allow him to fulfil what you say is his huge potential. Okay, so we are linked in with St. Michael's House and Liam received physiotherapy, speech and language therapy, um, speech therapy, physiotherapy, and then he got a, he has a home teacher as well who comes out. But his speech and language therapy, this therapist is fantastic, but he gets six sessions a year. That's just not enough. It's Nowhere like, near enough. No. So yes. we linked in with the Down Syndrome Centre right from when Liam was born. Mm. This is the one in Cabotelli, is it? That's the one in Cabotelli, yeah. And, um, and they were able to help you further? Oh, the, it's just amazing. It's not just the, um, the service they provide. Liam has OT out there, um, speech and language therapy. He did um, a class called SKIP. It's, for, it's a special kids intervention programme. And it prepares, we went out there once a week uh, for two, three years. Um, and it just prepares kids for school. Mm -hmm. um, things that you take for granted with typical children that they can put on their coat, they can hang their coat up, that they can open their lunch boxes. Liam has to work so much harder at that. He has to practice it and practice it and practice it so much more than your typical child. Um, and that's what the Down Syndrome Centre that was out there, they were to support mm. um, getting ready for school. So he'd come in, he'd hang up his coat, they'd mm. go in, they do circle time, they practice opening school bags, they practice the opening lunch box. But you found that down. with that support, he was able to pick up all those skills. Oh, absolutely. That was there. Absolutely. He's been going, the, the centre opened in October 2014, and Liam has been out there every single week um, since then. Um, and not just a support for Liam, but a support for us as a family. We've met mm. so many families out there, mm. um, other parents to talk to, who are have, have <laughs> going through the exact same thing. Um, is he going to give are. a wave before we go? Are we going to give a wave to you your wave, brother and sister who are watching this morning? Daddy's at home, give him a wave. There, there we go. Here. You see, and you wouldn't be scared of the well, camera. The whole point is, uh, is, uh, is to see the person, not the disability, but not alone just see the person, but also hear their story and mm. understand how much work has, it has taken to get them to the point where they are. That is an amazing point because it is. It is so much work. Again, children, you just think they're just going to crawl, they're just going to walk. Mm. Where with Liam, since he was a few weeks old, um, we'd, have, we'd be doing physio three, three times a day to get his muscles strong enough, to get him to be able to sit up. But it has happened. And it has happened and he's it flying it. Uh, Liam, lovely to meet you. Bye, Liam. You're going to enjoy it. Listen. Bye, we're going to buy there at the end. Oh, Thank you. He's been waiting to say that for seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, bye-bye. I want to go home. She wants to go home. Yeah, yeah go I know. Home. I know how you feel, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much for coming thank in. You. Liam, thank, thank you for coming in as well. And enjoy big school when you go there, OK? So thanks.
Bye. Bye. Uh, we're going to take a break now. Do join us for lots more Ireland AM very shortly.